Root Rider Valkspam with double Ogre Growth is the strongest and easiest attack strategy at Tamil 16. And today, I'm going to show you how to use it on every single style of base at Tamil 16. We have showcased this army on the channel before, but that was mainly against ring bases. Today, I'm going to show you how to take down every style of base at Town Hall 16. Now, before we get into this attack, let's talk about it because the strategy is as simple as this. We're going to go straight into the Town Hall and then overgrowth the core. Now, in terms of Siege Barracks, if you need a funnel to get into the Town Hall, then use the Siege Barracks. You'll see it being used on the box base in the next attack. But on this base, I decided to use it on the back end of the base because there is an open wall here so my Peckers can get value. And this area of the base, I'm not going to overgrowth. Generally, I do put it on the side, but notice these walls are closed and the Peckers would get no value. So we're going to go straight into the Town Hall, use the Valks to funnel, make sure all our heroes go in and we're not going to pop the warden ability instantly because there isn't that much damage on our root riders at this stage so we get into the town hall we use a rage if the root riders are wide enough to use two rages you can definitely use that but otherwise one rage is plenty and as soon as the warden ability stops uh, the Eternal Tome, sorry, is finished. We're going to come in with the first Overgrowth spell. And we're overgrowthing the core of the base. But notice, I don't overgrowth the Monolith. Because when the Monolith doesn't have any defenses covering for it, it is quite a weak defense. You can use the Skeleton spell if you've got it in your army to finish it off or to tank for it. And now the Root Riders are going to split around the core. And this looks really bad. Obviously, it's the same on ring bases. But yet again, we overgrowth the core once more. And look, we're just running over the... The outside of the base and this works so well on diamond bases i haven't failed on a diamond base yet using this i guess we'll see at the end of this video when i do two live attacks with the army including one on a diamond base whether it still works but you can see here completely and utterly wrecked you want to save at least a freeze spell but generally a rage and a freeze uh, for when the final overgrowth finishes King ability is crucial. The longer you can hang on to him, the better. And look, we are going to swag three spells in this one. Completely and utterly wrecked. But let's jump into a box space now. Box space here. We are going to be entering into the town hall. But notice the eagle artillery is not in the core of the base. And I won't be able to get my overgrowth on it. Because the overgrowth is going for the monolith and the single infernos in the core. So I decide to use the flame flinger here. And this is the only reason you should use the flame flinger in the army. Is if you can use it to get rid of the eagle eagle artillery otherwise the siege barracks is far better you get those peckers and wizards to help funnel or take down the back end of the base as you saw in the last attack so the flame fling is coming in here worth noting i have to use two valks to go look for teslas now the best version of this army would include uh would include a couple of super barbs, so you'd drop, say, two or three Valks and bring four or five super barbs. But in today's video, I decided to bring a super troopless version of the army, something that we can all use. Now, because I don't have the siege barracks, I have to do a wider line of uh, root riders here, much wider than we saw in the last attack. We come in with the Valkyries behind, and we pop that warden ability nice and early whilst he's covering a lot of it. And we do use the double rage, because as I said, it is a wider line of troops. And then as soon as that eternal tome, we are in with the overgrowth spell we get the single infernos and that monolith in the core but the scatter compartments on box bases are really tough and it's not like ring bases where you can save all your spells to the end you are gonna have to use a couple of spells on these side compartments notice i use some and a rage spell on the left hand side you generally don't want to do it but there's a tesla farm there's a lot of major defenses there and the king and rc are kind of chilling on the bottom side of the base we get that second overgrowth down as soon as you know that the first overgrowth is kind of close. Just look at the core of the base. We got a headhunter to deal with defensive king, helping our yetis out. And I want you to have a look at the last spell I've hung on to. It's deliberate. We know the core of the base has two single infernos and a monolith. So from the start of the attack, I knew I was going to save this skeleton spell to the very end. We pop the RC ability. This monolith is not going to do a whole lot. It is shooting at the Yeti, but it's going to be completely tanked for by skeletons now. We're swagging that queen ability, and this box has been wrecked. But what about ring bases? Let's jump into one of those. And the last major base style, ring bases, is the perfect base style for this army. If our editor is going to be a nice person we'll link the video above where we showcase this army against ring bases now admittedly i did panic a little bit here and i did pop the power potion 
Um, and the ring bases are definitely the base style where the overgrowth level matters the most. Notice I put the siege barracks on the funnel there, but I put a root rider in front of it to open the outer wall. Same on the bottom side, one root rider so the Valks can go in. But unfortunately, you're going to see the root riders in the middle here are slightly late, and all the Valks go around one side, the king goes around the other, and the warden ability really isn't that effective. So a really poor start to the attack here from me. So let's see if we can bring it back. If we could bring it back, that would say something about the army after such a poor start. Now, the base style that this works best on is ring bases, obviously, but the ring bases with those super cores where every major defense in the base is in the core of the base. Because essentially, when you put that overgrowth down on the core, there are no major defenses shooting back, and you can run over the back end of the base before finishing up the core. This ring base is a bit more of a struggle, because notice, our overgrowth spell, it is getting good value, but it's not insane value like you see on the super cores, and that's why this one gets a bit closer. I do use my skeleton spell here, trying to trigger the poison tower, but I'm a little late on it, unfortunately. Um, so, yes, let's talk about this on ring bases. It triples so frequently, but it is quite risky, obviously. You will... There is definitely a chance of one-starring with this variant of the army, but you're going to three-star so often that, in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. You'll make up the difference. Even if you one-star, you know, one out of 20 attacks, you're going to... If you know what you're doing, you can triple up to 16 attacks out of 20. Uh, the king, unfortunately, goes to the outside of the base here. You definitely want the king in the core because he is so good at taking down... Uh, defenses that are clumped up together, but it does not matter. Queen gets the town hall, Arce gets what's left, and you can see what's powerful about this army. Yes, the Root Riders opening walls is insane, but with the overgrowth, you're able to hang on to, onto your hero abilities till so late. All three of them there were in uh, action or were available to us after the second overgrowth goes down, and the only question now is, we're about to do two live war attacks, one on a box space, one on a diamond, can we get a six pack? There's 12 minutes left in war and I have four attacks to do. Two with the overgrowth root rider attack and then two queen charge root riders, which is tomorrow's video. So let's go and give this a go. Coming in with this. Now, what base style have I picked for us here? That's right. We're coming in on a diamond and then the second war attack will be against a box. I definitely feel better about coming in on this diamond than I do the, uh, the box, but we'll see what ends up happening. So what I like about this diamond, not a lot of DPS early. I can use a skeleton spell to tank most of that. So I'll be able to save my warden ability quite a bit. Now, where do I want to use the siege barracks? I kind of want to use it on the funnel. I believe in the power of Valks and Root Riders to set this funnel. Hopefully, so hopefully the king and... Uh, the king and stuff go in. If not, oh well, it's not the end of the world. So we got the peckers and everything down there. Alright, this is not exactly the split I was looking for. So we're gonna pop the warden ability right now. I haven't even used an overgrowth yet. That's what I kind of like about this. Not going to matter as much having the low level overgrowth. Oh, I should have done that a second earlier. Headhunter doesn't quite kill the uh, champ. If you're on the king, I will freeze. Nope. Look at how many troops I still have up. So we use the first one there. I have used all my headhunters because they can't get to the queen. Take her down. Beautiful. This time we get the multi inferno. RC's over there. Now, the good thing about this attack strategy is when you've only got 12 minutes in war to do four attacks, but this attack strategy can be done in two minutes, you are definitely more likely to get all your attacks in. I haven't even planned my second Queen Charge Root Rider hit. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to sit on my King here because the later I pop means he'll switch from the King to all these defensive troops. Uh, defensive buildings, sorry. RC ability for you all, and this looks pretty wrecked to me. And look at that, my queen's gonna finish off. Oh my lord, that pecker has started all the way down here with my siege barracks and has lived the whole battle. That's what I really like about the siege barracks on the funnel. Thankfully, my king went the same way as it and kept it in, but yeah. 
These diamond bases seem to get wrecked by going straight into the town hall, but does the same thing happen on a box base? I deliberately picked quite a tough box base because look at this. There is a lot of damage before the town hall, so quite likely I'm going to have to pop my warden ability before the giga explosion, which means it's going to be tough getting out of the town hall. I haven't decided whether I'll overgrowth the monolith or not. I don't think I will. I think I want to kind of uh, overgrowth around it and then the skeleton spell gets way more value. I'm going to tank for this siege barracks here. So the peckers, because I don't want them running around. I want them coming in. I'm going to hold the Warden ability a second. Warden, can you step to the right? Yeah, I should have waited half a second longer. It would have gone better. Yetis are going on that top side. I haven't seen where the Root Riders are going to go yet. Good Yetis. Once I see where the Root Riders are going to go, that's, that'll determine my Royal Champion. King, don't be an idiot. Good King. I have lost a lot of Root Riders. I don't know if this is going to go through. I really want to place my Royal Champion. Yeah, I have to. King's going to go to the outside of the base, though. I need my queen to stay in here. Come on, King. Take down the stuff on the outside. Hopefully, this overgrowth ends right now. Okay, the queen can reach most of that. Yes, the poison tower misses the royal champion. That's actually huge for us. Unfortunately, the fox gets picked off, and I think the fox dies here. That is the fox nerf for you. Oh, that was a wasted rage. That was definitely a wasted rage. Oh, I don't know if I get it because I can't reach that scatter. I did need to get that uh, scatter down, so I understand why I raged, but the Royal Champion went for the multi arch tower anyway. This Pekka ne Oh, well, I was going to say this Pekka needs to tank. This Pekka is not going to tank much. Now, maybe I shouldn't have popped the Queen ability before, but I was kind of happy I did. Oh, I wish the King beat the wall. Queen, I, you have to finish off that. Okay, good queen. Problem is, there's just so many freaking walls for the king to beat through, and I think this is time. I couldn't afford the warden to die. That was a big one. 99. There you go. So the strategy is strong, but it's not broken, particularly on these bases where there's a lot of damage by the town hall. You can't use the warden ability to negate that. Uh, I definitely... This is definitely a time fail, though, because uh, the... The Phoenix would have finished off this scatter. I should have kept that freeze, probably. Should have kept the freeze for the rest of it. So the strategy, look, it's not out and out busted. You can fail with it. But I don't know what I'm doing with this strategy. And I'm still getting pretty close.